Okay. I'm going to give you a interesting thing uh that well let me how to, let me figure out how to how to say this. I'm going to detail something that a lot of people might actually agree with. Turning that down. I want music in the background, but at the same time I don't want to edit it in and post. I just want to get it done and over with. But anyway, um if any of you have watched the M. Night Shyamalan Avatar movie. Um, I would genuinely like to genuinely not like to know like what your opinions of it is. Because uh, I don't know of any person who actually think thinks that movie is actually a good movie. And uh, this brings us to the topic of today's discussion is how much I hate the Avatar movie from M. Night Shyamalan. I should actually preface this. I'm not talking about Avatar as in like the tall blue people. That's a good movie. I'm talking about The Last Airbender, which is a movie produced by or directed by M. Night Shyamalan um, based off of the Avatar The Last Airbender TV show from Nickelodeon. I can guarantee there's a lot of people who would agree with me in saying that the Avatar The Last Airbender TV show is one of the greatest things to ever come out. <laughs> I love it. I've seen the entire show multiple times. Um, but the M. Night Shyamalan Last Airbender movie is a travesty. It is so bad. The only redeeming thing about that movie is the actor that they used for Zuko. That guy is good. If they, if they continued on for some reason and then kept that guy, I would have enjoyed it. That guy is a good Zuko. Everyone else was just a disaster. Um, and then <laughs> it's not helped by the fact that uh, Sokka, the character who plays Sokka, um, I believe the previous thing I saw him in was um, Twilight where he was like Edward's brother or something like that. And even in that show, even in that movie, he always had this kind of like pained expression on his face. Like he was looking at everyone going like, <sighs> like he's about to really shit his pants. <laughs> like he had that, fa he has that face throughout the entirety of Avatar and through the entirety of Twilight. But we're not talking about Twilight. We're talking about The Last Airbender. <laughs> that movie is just, <sighs> And let, let, let me just tick off another thing that I hate about that movie. Um, while we're in on the subject of characters, Ong, Ong, it's pronounced Ang. They say it that way the entirety of the entire TV show, and yet for the movie they change it to Ong. Yes. Hello, kiss me, Ong, the Air Last Avatar. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> it's a passionate subject. <laughs> But I, I just don't like the Av the last Airbender movie. It's so bad. Uh, the fight scenes are they feel stilted. They feel weird. Um, the Earthbenders they do a lot of extra stuff just to push a pebble across the ground, like all the way. Like come on, you could do a lot better. You're you're Earthbenders. You literally bend the earth that's underneath you. Come on, you could do so much better than that. Come on. Come on, come on. And then the firebending in, in that movie, again, is pretty good, which I'll attest to probably Zuko, the character who plays Zuko's ability to do it. Like like I said, he's a good Zuko. If he played Zuko, I would have loved to see him more of that guy. But everyone else just was terrible. I did not like it. Katara was kind of strange. Ong, the character they used for Ong. <laughs> I hate saying Ong, Ang. The character they used for Aang was a little interesting, but it's a child actor, so it's kind of, you yeah, had to be a little more lenient on, on that front. But one of the, another thing, they like to do these like really close-ups on the characters where you could swear the camera was like right there in front of their face. And then you just go like, like talking to the other person going like, yeah, the, the firebenders are going to do this evil thing. And then it switches to the other person that they're having a conversation to. The camera's like right there. It's just like, yeah, we better go stop them. I feel like the movie suffers from they were trying to stuff in 
the entirety of a TV show into one movie. The entirety of the first season. There was a lot of extra stuff that they skipped over because they were trying to cram it into this movie, right? Which, understandable. It makes sense. But they left out a lot of stuff. Like, eh. I don't know. Oh, and they nerfed the firebenders, too. I forgot about that. They completely nerfed the firebenders, where it requires them to have a uh, a source of fire that's nearby in order to uh, use their firebending abilities. Unlike the TV show, where they could just manifest it out of their hands. I was just like, the firebending in the TV show is so much cooler. They just take their inner body heat and just wah, turn it into fire. It's cool. It's cool. They nerfed them in the movie. And I was thinking, like, Honestly, the siege at the south of the Southern Water Tribe. Spoilers for anyone who's hasn't watched Avatar: The Last Airbender or this awful movie. But um, the siege at the end of the movie could have been easily avoided because they they had to launch things that were on fire so that the Firebenders could use their abilities. Right? If they just like <laughs> drenched them with water, they had water all around them. They could have done it. Just like drowned them splashed the little boulders that they had full of with, um, like that were on fire just with a little water put out the flame tar put out all the torches throughout the entire city firebenders are screwed yep did they do that no <sighs> uncle iroh was too young in that movie too i'm not gonna get into that <laughs> anyway that's all i want to talk about i just don't like that movie I really don't. I might make an epically late about it. I don't know. But for now, this is what I'm going to stick with. You know what? Nah, never mind. I'll, I'll do an epically late after the fact about the movie. And I'll just re recur what I've talked about here just in smaller detail. Because I want to keep the, the episodes of Epically Late shorter. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for more controversial tips. Tip it, guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>